Thank you for joining the Sports on One. The Border Bulldogs compounded the misery on the Vintuk Draft Velviches with a resounding 76 to 18 mauling in a provincial tournament clash at the Hage Gaingab Stadium in Vintuk on Saturday. The Velviches are yet to record a win in this year's competition and are still bottom of the log. The first half we put nice pressure on on the defence and uh, I take making positive hits and so it made lots of mistakes. Second half we didn't come off the line. A uh, few easy tries gave them the momentum and that's it man. We have to we have to work on defense and it's letting us down. So maybe next game we'll get up to it. I must say we we had about maybe 20 guys who's only played a second curry cup game, so experiences are low. So we can only get better from here. So who you Still on rugby, Namibia's first team withstood the challenge of a determined Uganda in Kampala to emerge 41-30 to 30 victors in the Africa Rugby Tier 1A competition on Saturday. Defending champions Namibia, missing several key players through injury and club commitments, proved too strong for Uganda's rugby cranes. Yes, good morning, Strauss. I think um, it, um, it was a wonderful experience for us as a team to travel to a city like Kampala in Uganda. Um, um, definitely, we can see that rugby in Africa is growing. Rugby in Africa is alive. Uh, definitely with the Ugandan team um, uh, having made such huge improvements over the last couple of years. I think with regards to the match, um, we know as a team, as a group, um, we let ourselves down on the day. Um, a lot of mistakes on attack as well as on defence. Um, it's definitely areas we want to improve before we play against a team like Kenya and Zimbabwe on um, on home ground, so um, but yeah, just to, just to go back to the game, I think um, um, the Ugandans made it really difficult for us. Uh, they put a lot of our, a lot of our plays. They put under huge pressure. Um, I think they were more energized. They were more enthusiastic on the day. Um, a very electric and um, enthused crowd got behind them. They got their tails up early in the game by scoring the first try of the game, and um, we had to play catch up rugby eventually. Once we got to, we stuck to our structures. Um, we managed to get a, a good buffer, a three point buffer or three try buffer up 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 against them. Um, but um, we had so we had too many soft moments, especially on defence. Um, um, and um, I I definitely believe it's not being disrespectful to the Ugandan team. I just think on the day. Um, our boys were too passive, uh, but definitely that's something that can't happen um, in, in the future. Um, we have to treat, um, we have to consider all all the games we play in Africa and outside of of Africa as as very important, and um, and that we could expect stern opposition. So um, it was a learning experience for us. Um, we took away the positives from this game. We'll hopefully build on that, and obviously we'll correct the mistakes we've made. And hopefully, come 14 July when we play when we play Kenya on the Hagi Gangop Stadium, it'll be a totally different Namibian team. 